Gary Kidd joins me now from ProServe, and we are here at EIC Connect. Gary, you've been doing business here in the region for more than 10 years, but now you're launching a new smart box that we're just going to take a look at. Tommy, how important is this piece of equipment, and what's the value? Who's looking for it? We're finding here the major oil and gas companies here in the Middle East are looking for new innovative solutions as to enhance the productivity and the capabilities of their well to make sure that they operate efficiently and effectively. It's specifically focused at remote well locations where it's difficult to get the modern day technology capabilities and communications to it. ProServe has come up with a simplistic and ingenious solution for it which is called the Smart Box. The Smart Box is a by sport product for ProServe. It can be retrofitted to any piece of equipment. It provides real-time information and it gives a complete solution for the client base they're looking for. And of course, it's a very rugged looking piece of kit as well. I mean, this is, I would imagine, very secure because all of the data is going to be running through this. Correct, it is. And we put safety protocols within the system because we've obviously got to protect the information that's coming from our clients. That's controlled, but it's also controlled through our online system, which we've used the IC Connect as a launch pad. Now, of course, a lot of people here looking at the new digital future in this sector, and there is no turning back on this. But a lot of people have to really step up on this and really move fast. What can you do to actually help them move quicker and get on board? So we've actually done that and embraced that this year with ProServe. We've actually been acting very aggressively and coming up with a solution for that demand. It's evolved through the last of the last year with the development of it, which has resulted in the launch of Aegis. Aegis is an enhancement system it gives clear visibility of the operational parameters of any piece of hydraulic control systems. We've used it as an online system, so it's embracing the digital technology. It's unique to clients. We've used the EIC as a launch pad for that. Through this today, it's obviously created many opportunities and created a lot of interest, which we will follow up through time. Now, being here at EIC, obviously you're, 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 you're using it well, as you say, <laughs> and you've made that very clear here, but tell me how important this is and the feel that you're getting from any of the other colleagues who are coming here. It's been unique here being for the EIC. Um, to get this kind of level of focus and people involved that come to the show, um, it gets us to the right people at the right levels to make the right decisions. And by doing that, it's allowed us to be very progressive today. And again, a lot of bilateral meetings, one-on-one -on -one meetings. Um, we had some of the senior people here from Abu Dhabi and Dubai here, looking around, talking to people at the stands here. Um, and really, I think, the giving, giving it that credibility. But where do you think you make the best connections here? So I think we've made the best connections with the technical people that's been coming here today. Um, they've understood new technology and new solutions. To try and embrace that and to actually get to the key people that can make those kind of decisions is challenging. What this event has allowed us to do is actually bring them to us and have the one-to-one -one factor. We've used the one-to-one -one meetings. They've been very successful. The feedback that we've got is very positive. The key focus now is to follow up on that and actually show what we have and the capabilities that can help to them. What would you say to other British companies who are looking to perhaps come here? Obviously, look, look very closely at the work EIC is doing, but also what, what do they need to do? And when they come here, it's not about really uh, servicing from afar. They need to actually come and stay and commit for the future. It, it is, and that's one of the key things we found by doing business in the Middle East, is committing to the region. They've now incorporated their in-country value, which is about development of businesses in the country. For the UK companies, I would suggest actually coming over to here and speaking one-to-one. -one. Grow your presence, grow your customer relationship, develop from that. By having a base here, your business will grow and develop. By trying to do it from a distance, it's finding more challenging and more difficult with the day-to-day -day operational parameters we're experiencing. And when we look at the growth here in the region alone and, and around the region as well, do you think there are good opportunities for British companies, any companies, to actually come and set up business in the UAE? Definitely. The UAE is a very dynamic country. Um, the exposure that they are doing, the development plans they have, are very aggressive. We want to be part of that. That's why we're here. We're looking forward to the future growth working with the Middle East.